guys, Ralph here. Got an unboxing for you. This is the Samsung VNAND SSD 970 EVO Plus solid state drive, which is going to be going into my PC in the house. Now, I have one in there at the moment. It's, it's a 500 gig, same as what this one is. It runs Windows very well until I've had problems and it's it seems to me that it all boils down to my SSD drive it's been only about two years two and a half years and, and the crucial one that I've got in there isn't that reliable in the long term and while we've actually got a working PC I've managed to back up everything onto another drive and everything's fine but this is this is a review of this and I'll show you an unboxing basic SSD drive I'll show you one, I will fit this later on and get this in. Let's have a look inside this. These are actually quite good. These are actually was recommended. The step down from this was recommended by um, my friend Fairfight14 from Retro Box Room. He has the, the uh, Evo version, not the Plus version. It's a tiny bit faster. And the interface on this one is a form factor of M.2, which is 2280 size-wise. The interface, yes, PCIe. Basically, if you can't fit one of these in your computer, don't bother. But there are other alternatives for SSDs out there. So you, you, this is what I like to choose. And the size is ridiculously small. And it's almost like a memory card. But there's 500 gigs worth of data on this. I will not use all of that. I, I do play quite a few games, and to be honest, Windows goes to roundabout. When I've filled my other one, I think it was about 300 gig. So you've still got enough memory to play about with and a hard drive space with a virtual memory, but shouldn't need much more than that. So, this is absolutely tiny, to be careful with it. It looks the same sort of size as what I've already got, which is good, it's what I want. So this will, inside the motherboard that I've got upstairs, Slide into that side, clicks into place, well, it doesn't click, it holds into place, and then screw holds this down, and then this is where the operating system gets installed onto. Solid state drives have been around for a while, but this will run my PC very, very well. Now there's a book under there, looks like I need to... Ah. Okay, so there's nothing much in there, apart from there's the box, the outer packaging, looks like that will not come out. So Samsung wedge this in there, it should goes. Solid state drive book. There's actually a five year warranty on this. So I can relatively happily plod through this. Usual gubbins of the book. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the side, the capacity of this is 500 gigabytes. There are bigger ones out there that go to one gig, two gig. I think there's one that's even 250 mega, uh, gigabytes, two gig, one gig, one terabyte, two terabyte. This is on Amazon at the moment for about, I think it's 103 pounds. The retail for, I think it's 110, which is fine. Go out, buy one if you want one. If you, if not, there are other bargains out there. I mean, there are, it, it's, the read rate on this one is 3,500 megabyte per second. Performances obviously vary based on your system. You've got write speeds as 3,200, random read up to 48, 480,000 IOPS. It's not a bad little system. It's not a bad little card. The size of it, well, actually the weight of it is eight grams. It's eight grams worth of half a terabyte. Which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, let's get you. I mean, you can't really see too much on this because you can't really get inside there to see anything. It's just resistors, capacitors, chips, opposite side, everything's filled in. So you can't really tell anything at all. But yeah, it's the length of my finger. That's all it is. And this will operate Windows. I'm sure you can put other operating systems on yours if you wanted to, if you don't want to use Windows. I use Windows 10, and I'll be going through full installation on my own. I won't be filming that with you. So, with that out of the box, that's all you get in the box. But that's all you need. This will fit in the computer, get your BIOS to read it, because you should be easily recognisable. 
and then you install your windows from a, a USB drive or from CD or whatever your chosen way of installing. So I'm going to take this in the house and we're going to take out the old one on the PC and we're going to put this one in and see, I'll show you exactly how it fits into the, into the computer. Now we're in the office, here's my computer, the sides off, chips underneath there and right underneath here is the SSD drive. Now it will be easier to take the fans off this try and get into there but if you can see, let me see if I can do this right, it is dang, it is exactly there. There's different types on my motherboard, you can actually change if you want a shorter one there's a screw hole exactly where that isn't, but you need to undo this screw. Now we'll see, it's dark in there. Undo the screw, try not to lose it. Which I will do, I know I will. Take that out. This is really awkward now. Now, the whole thing comes out. Sorry, I've got a screwdriver in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a screwdriver in my mouth then. The whole SSD card comes out. And the screw is down there. I can't show you much on this. And there she is. That's my old one. This is the one that doesn't work. So, or does work, but I don't know why it's not working. So, slight difference. I'm going to think with the connector on the end, it's there. But this should go in place. A new one. It just takes a little bit of awkward. There's a connector down here. Let me try and show you. Get a little torch. Right. Right there where the torch is shining on. I can get it into. Right there. That's the connector for it. There's one, two, three, four screw holes for different size SSDs. Mine will be the same as what I've already got. So I've still got the um, standoff pin there. And the screw is there, which you don't need to lose. So all the best to do is just slot it into this here. And then gently have it sat on the pin and screw in place. Let's try and do that while holding a camera in my left hand. Which honestly is impossible to do. Now a slight um, mishap then, I pressed the stop button, but I don't think I could have got this thing in without <laughs> the camera in my hand anyway. I needed both hands. So it's connected onto the front there and it's screwed in on the back. It kind of just slides in with the other connectors that's got on it. Screws on the back, done. So it's exact replacement size-wise, not only just the actual memory size, but the exact size of the one I've already took out. So that'll be inside. I'll need to power this on. Oh, by the way, if you're gonna do stuff like this, make sure your power supply is turned off. I did turn mine off before I started this, as I'm not that daft anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it is as simple as that. I mean, I could have probably made it easier by taking out the graphics card, which that's easy enough. I've got two screws holding in place there. Graphics card, pull this connector out. Then I would have got access from the side, which I should have been able to get into there anyway. That should have been an easier idea for the camera, which could have laid down down here. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's in, it should be working. Now all I need to do is configure Windows. Oh, I can forget the BIOS to get to read it, as well as reading the USB to reinstall Windows. It's simple enough, it's not impossible to do, it is very easy, it's it's just in your BIOS settings, it, sh it should be done, it will be done easily to do. I'm not showing you how to do that, this is just an install and a review of what this card is. So, leave me for a few hours, and I'll get this in... Windows reinstalled back on, then I'll get back into the garage and we'll see what's what. And there we go, installed into my computer. All I need to do now is reinstall Windows. I've got a backup of my copy anyway of, the, of Windows, so it's, it's not too much of an issue to reinstall everything, hopefully, that's what Windows does with the backup copy. But yeah, the SSD 
if this cocks up, then I will be doing another review of this. But I can't see why it would. If there would be, there's a five year warranty, like I say at the beginning. There's absolutely no reason why this is gonna fail with the amount of work that I really don't give it. So go out buy one. If you don't, then wait for another one, get a bigger version. I'd probably say 250 is probably the much you need for an operating system. Unless you're gaming, you're doing a lot of big gaming, then you probably need a one terabyte. So I don't, I'll play a game, I'll uninstall, I'll reinstall a different, different game. I won't have millions of games on the system. So not really needed too much more, but 500 gigs more than, more than enough of what I need anyway. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the review. Please like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.